Thanks for joining us today. I'm Jocelyn Schifferdecker. And I'm Eden Jones joining you here with U Central News. Today was a pretty big day for students on campus. That's right. Today held the Career and Internship Fair at the Nye University. There, students were able to meet with future employers and build connections. That's right. And U Central's own Hayden Smith was there to get the details. The Career Fair took place on Thursday from 12 to 3 p.m. in the Nye University Center Ballroom. The event specialist, Natalie Neal, informed U Central that career fairs are their biggest fairs of the year, and they have them in the fall and in the spring as well. There's usually over 80 employers from a wide range of different industries in order to connect students for full and part-time work as well as internships. Students were excited as the Nye University Center Ballroom was packed with students exploring future career opportunities. The different career opportunities at the career fair included healthcare professionals, insurance agents, police officers, and even Marines. The employer's responsibilities at the career fair are to inform students about what they do in order to see if students could see themselves in a similar career. I'm Hayden Smith with U Central News. Thanks, Hayden. And if you missed the career and internship fair this year, there will be another one the following school year. And it was a much nicer day out today, but the weather has been kind of all over the place recently. <laughs> Definitely. We got a little bit of rain, some snow last mm -hmm. night. We're going to toss it to our weather anchor, Amber, for a first look. Yeah, no, there was some snow last night that just came out of nowhere. There was a little bit of rain earlier, but that snow and mixed, mixed sleet and snow just came out of nowhere. If you drove around this morning around right before 8 a.m., 9 a.m., you probably experienced some slick spots on the highway. But we're going to go over what the next forecast will be for the next couple of days. So we're seeing that it's 50 degrees outside right now, and it feels like it's 47. So jumping from a very cold, very cold breeze this morning to 50 degrees is very interesting to see throughout this state right now. But we are going to be covering some more winter weather that will be coming tonight. So we'll cover that in just one moment. We'll be also looking at the Valentine's forecast and the Super Bowl forecast. So that will be great if you have any plans for that. So 51 up in Oklahoma City, 46 up in Woodward, and Guymont is 52 degrees, 61 up in Idabel. So we are feeling really great out there. Back to y'all. Thank you, Amber. And all future health professionals might want to check this out. UCO is hosting the second annual Health Professions Mentorship Dinner. The event will be at 6 p.m. on the 23rd in the Nye University Center's Grand Ballrooms. Those interested will need to RSVP and can do so online. And if you're wanting to give your special someone some flowers for Valentine's Day, look no further. The Nye University Center is hosting a Build a Bouquet event. That event will be from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Nye Food Court on Tuesday. Be sure to check it out. But that's not all that's going on around campus. This Saturday, the Asian American Student Association is inviting the community to celebrate the Lunar New Year. The event is free and will be in the Nye University ballrooms starting at 6 p.m. The event includes food, activities, performances, and lion dancing. What more could you want? Also happening here on campus, the annual Campus Leadership Awards are here. Those applications are open now and will close on Friday, February 24th at midnight. You or your student organization can apply through UCOR. And the Homecoming Activities Board is looking for their 2023 team members. If you're a visionary leader who is interested in applying, go ahead and make your way to the UCOR website. Applications are due by Thursday, February 23rd at midnight. That is in two weeks, and interviews will be on the 28th. And a one-of-a-kind shopping event awaits. This weekend, Brahms invites the community to their annual Affair of the Heart celebration. This three-day event begins tomorrow and ends Sunday. The experience features over 200 vendors and a wide selection of products. Tickets cost $10 and can be bought online. Also featured at the Affair of the Heart is the Succulent Collective. It's a do-it-yourself planting bar where you can pick a pot, choose a plant, and plant it with whatever accessories you'd like. And you know, Eden, with Valentine's Day coming up, this could actually be a great last-minute Valentine's Day gift. Oh, for sure. We can't be forgetting our Galentines, Absolutely. calling all plant moms. And while it's been a warmer day outside compared to yesterday, will it stay warm? U Central's Amber Poston has the answer with a full weather forecast right after this break. That, I was like... Feel the beat of nature at a park or forest near you. Find a forest and music inspired by nature at discovertheforest.org.
you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Happy Thursday, Broncos. Thanks for tuning in to you Central News. My name is Amber Poston, and we're going to be covering a bunch of different forecasts or a bunch of different temperatures that will be happening within the next couple of days. So get ready for this forecast that is coming in. So it's going to be 50 degrees outside right now. It was really cold this morning. So there is a bunch of different temperatures that will be happening throughout today. And it feels like it is 47 degrees outside right now. Winter weather is coming and Valentine's, the Valentine's Day forecast and the Super Bowl forecast will be coming in as well. And we'll be seeing some pretty good temperatures there. So stay tuned with us. 51 up in Oklahoma City, 52 up in Guymon. Clinton, or yeah, Clinton is 51 up there and Ardmore is 56. So it's a little bit hotter down in the south of the state. And tonight we are gonna be seeing some rain and snow that will be coming into the state later this evening. So be careful if you're driving or going to be out anywhere, just be cautious. And it, we have the percentage ch chance of it, of it being 30 to 40 percent right there. And then tonight, the degrees throughout the state, it's going to be pretty chilly out there. So if you are out, make sure you have a jacket with you. It's going to be 30 degrees up in Oklahoma City. Enid will be uh, 27. Ponca City will also be 27 and 33 up in Ardmore. Now tomorrow it's going to be 42 degrees up in Oklahoma City, 56 up in Clinton, and Woodward will be 40, 45 degrees up there. Now for our forecast earlier today around 7 this morning, it was 30 degrees breezy and if you were out before 7 in the morning, it was quite slick out there because of that mixture that did come in last night. So if you were driving on the highways, you may have slid a little bit and it's because of the ice and the snow that was mixed together with that and it also was very cold outside and uh currently right now and around this afternoon earlier it has been 50 degrees so it feels quite nice outside right now and then tonight it's going to be tw uh 29 degrees with that snow and rain mixture and i'll step out of the way so you can see what we're looking at it is going to be sunday super bowl sunday it's going to be a pretty big game right there so and then on tuesday we also have valentine's day with a pretty Good chance of rain that day, so make sure you have a coat if you go and do anything with your boot thing out there. So anyway, we it's going to be mostly 50s throughout the rest of the week, 60s later on around Valentine's Day, and some really low degrees out there for this upcoming week and next week. Back to you. Thanks, Amber. Don't go anywhere. Our social media blog with Lauren Henry is up next. You won't want to miss it. Believe in the power of possibility to always move forward, but never forget where I came from to value hard work, ingenuity and hospitality. On one hand, my people are rough and rugged. On the other, refined and elegant. They taught me how to love beautiful things and cherish my past to seek out adventure, eat well and to have a good time. So I keep their traditions alive every place I go. They call me Oklahoma City, but you can call me the modern frontier.
Youth Century News as a whole, you got to be in those different areas, like being on camera, being off camera, being in the control room. And so I feel like that is what prepared me most about being in the workplace. Youth Central and the Mass Comm Department has provided me all the tools and the fundamentals that are needed in order to thrive well and thrive fast at my job. Maybe it's time to hit the road and visit a place where stories unfold. This is the land of the ultimate road trip with sights old and new on Route 66. There's fun to be had, so much to do, and a few new surprises before you get through. Oklahoma has the most miles to share of Route 66. It's really quite rare. TravelOK.com will show you the way. Come see for yourself this iconic highway. I'm Lauren Henry, keeping you up to date with everything going on in social media. State Superintendent Ryan Walters took to Twitter to condemn a book from being offered in Oklahoma's public schools. The book in question is titled, Let's Talk About It, and is centered around teenage sexual education. In a Twitter video that has since been deleted, Walters made his opinion clear that the book should not be available to students. OKCPS shared a statement on Twitter stating that the book is not available to students through the digital or physical library at any OKCPS school. Twitter also went down recently, leaving users in a panic. Hashtag Twitter down was trending and users complained that they were not able to send tweets, follow other users, or access their direct messages. The issue has since been resolved, but Twitter has not said what caused the app to stop responding. And now a story about how TikTok played a role in saving a family's restaurant. CNN's J.R. Stone has more. This may look like just another busy restaurant, but last month, things looked a lot different here at Lee's Noodle House in Santa Rosa. It was completely empty. 21-year-old Jennifer Lee posted this seven-second video on TikTok showing her dad leaning against the counter. She wrote, it makes me so sad to see my parents just wait for customers to walk through the door to eat at their Vietnamese restaurant. I'm like really slow, and I think a lot of people left because of the pandemic and the fires. So I think I felt really, like, sorry for them. And, and it was that short video that got quite a response. Three weeks later, and the place is packed. His daughter was on TikTok pleading to the public to help, his, help her dad because he was running out of business because of the COVID thing. I saw that broke my heart. My dad, he always talked about, like, how he's stressed, and he's, like, tired of just waiting around where we have to, like, close early. So I kind of just made the video to like help them out a little bit. As of late Wednesday, the video has racked up more than 987,000 views. Digital marketers that I spoke with said this just shows that TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube videos aren't just used for entertainment purposes anymore. They're being used to get information. And as for Jennifer's dad, who went from waiting to packing bags, he says he's grateful for the support. A lot of people from the community come out and support us, and uh, I'm really thankful. In Santa Rosa, J.R. Stone, ABC7 News. And a pair of boots that you might recognize from the cartoon Astro Boy have taken the social media world by storm. Influencers and stars alike are posting photos wearing a large pair of red boots. The boots are created by the brand called Mischief and will be available to the public on February 16th with a re retail price of $350. Now let's get back to the Metro. The Plaza District is looking for artists to participate in their next artist market. Artists can submit their portfolios on plazadistrict.com slash vendors. All submissions are due by February 20th, and the event will take place in the plaza on every second Friday of the month. And I think that's an awesome opportunity for students and anyone who wants to get involved in the local art scene. What about you guys? Thanks, Lauren. Yeah, I would completely agree. That's definitely an amazing opportunity for someone to get their local art out there and for other people to support local art and find out what's happening in their own backyard. Stay with us. Up next, Paint Scott previews your U Central sports update.
Sometimes, the things we do or say can make others feel hurt, excluded, or isolated. Everything you say and do creates an impact. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. Because of you, someone's entire life can change. You don't have to be a superhero to have a positive impact. Friends? Friends. Hey, Bobo. Do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Welcome back, Bronco sports fans. I'm Peyton Scott, and this is your Thursday sports update. After winning the Edmund First Pitch Classic last weekend, Central Oklahoma is 3-0 this season. Tuesday was supposed to be UCO's first mid-game, uh, midweek game of 2023 against SNU. The game was postponed to Wednesday afternoon, then again to Thursday afternoon. UCO will take the baseball diamond today against Southern Nazarene at Wendell Simmons Stadium for the the start of a five-game home stretch this weekend, the Broncos will host a four-game series against the University of Mary from North Dakota. The number six men's Bronco basketball team will take on Washburn in Topeka, Kansas this Saturday at 3 p.m. for the first time in a week after going 2-0 last weekend against Fort Hayes and Nebraska Kearney. Jaden Wells will have a chance to put himself in UCO record book in the UCO record books with a chance to move into the top three for career three pointers made in Bronco basketball history. He would only need two threes made to join that group. We are only four days away from the Super Bowl. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles will play in the Super Bowl will play in Super Bowl 57 in Glendale, Arizona at State Farm Stadium this Saturday, uh, this Sunday, I'm sorry, uh, at 5:30 Central Time. Rihanna will headline the halftime show with Chris Stapleton scheduled to sing the national anthem. This will be Kansas City's fifth Super Bowl appearance and Philadelphia's fourth. Patrick Mahomes has the opportunity to be the first starting quarterback uh, black starting quarterback, actually, to win two Super Bowls, while Jalen Hurts aims to be among the three other black quarterbacks to win Super Bowls, Doug Williams, Ru Russell Wilson, and Patrick Mahomes. The big three that never was. Kevin Durant was traded to the Phoenix Suns earlier this morning, ending the Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and Kevin Durant era in Brooklyn. The Nets have now traded all three stars away after acquiring Irving, and Durant in 2019 and Harding in 2021 in blockbuster moves. Kyrie Irving was traded earlier this weekend to the Mavericks and Harding was traded to the 76ers last year. And that's all for sports for today. Back to you at the desk. Thanks, Peyton. Don't go anywhere just yet. We'll have one last look at weather and find out what animal is causing an uproar in the chess world when we come back. and change it all. I would. I would. I think I'm gonna miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Or maybe it's just the little moments. I could go back and change I could go back and change it all. I could go back. I would. But I can't.
achieve a lot using your imagination. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to brag, but... Wait, who's that? And why is she all over these achievement awards? But with STEM, the sky's the limit. Shaboom! Use STEM to envision... Okay, I'm seeing it. Yeah. Invent. Got any ideas? I've got a few, actually. And create a better world. Told you she's super smart. If she can STEM, so can you. Find out more at She Can STEM. In the land of wonder and awe, you won't believe you see what you saw. Where there's something to do for young and for old. Where stories are written and then they're retold. Visit TravelOK.com today. Come see for yourself and come out to play. Thanks for staying with us. Let's check in with Amber Poston for one last look at weather. Yeah, okay, so the current conditions right now, it feels absolutely beautiful outside. So take in those temperatures before that snowy mix does come in tonight. We'll cover that in just one moment. It's 51 degrees up in Oklahoma City, 52 up in Enon. Ponca City is 49 degrees, and then 54 up in Miami. So it is feeling pretty pretty outside with a little bit of a heavy wind, but it feels great out there. So tonight, be careful if, if you are going and doing anything um, outside. It is going to be raining and snowing, and there may be a little bit of a mixture in there. So be careful while you're driving tonight. It is going to be 29 degrees, and there is a 30 to 40 percent chance that that type of storm will be moving in tomorrow. So, or tonight, excuse me. So our seven day forecast is looking like there's gonna be a pretty big temperature dip for tomorrow and throughout overnight as well. So be careful if you are doing anything and you got that 30 and 40% chance of snow that it is coming tonight. And hey, it's Super Bowl Sunday this weekend. So make sure you are responsible and safe for whatever you do. And then Valentine's Day is next Tuesday, but it is gonna be quite a rainy one and quite a stormy one. So if you are planning to do anything with your significant other, make sure you maybe are probably doing it inside, maybe a little bit movie night and then cooking meals instead of going out. And it's going to be pretty great outside for the next week. Back to you. Thanks, Amber. And a hit series is releasing its sixth movie tomorrow. Scream 6 will be hitting theaters tomorrow. Those tickets are now on sale, so you might want to purchase those in advance before they're gone. Um, you know, I'm personally probably going to sit that one out. I've never seen any of the franchise, but I don't really do scary movies. So well, I, for one, am a big horror movie girl, but I've never seen them either. You've never seen them? Uh -uh. Oh, I love horror movies as well, and <laughs> Scream is one of the first scary movies I ever saw. Oh, really? Yeah. I, think I might just start from square one. From See, Scream I saw it, watch. and that was enough. Fair. <laughs> you know, agreed. I can't do scary movies to save my life. Like, I will probably sit and cry in fear. I'll just be <laughs> curled up in the corner of the movie theater or someone's room, I'll be like, no. Hey, you either this. love it or you don't. <laughs> but you'd be surprised at what animal is responsible for the recent uproar in the chess world. Fans of the strategy game chess may have already heard of the viral chess bot Mittens, which is a kitten. Mittens is an AI uh, created by Will Whalen, who has gone viral after defeating swarms of online chess players with not only his moves, but also his player taunting commentary. I don't know about you guys, but if I was being beaten by an AI, kitten, I think I would probably be a part of that uproar right? as well. And then he's taunting them with Twitter. I know. And like, it's a kitten. That's a little, a little weird. But that is all the time that we have today. I'm Ian oh, Jones. I'm, <laughs> I'm Jocelyn. We're Chicago. getting there. <laughs> I'm Amber Poston. And I'm Lauren Henry. Thank you for joining us today on U Central News. Have a great day, Broncos.